Leave Kevin alone! <laughs> Child. Okay, so Kevin Hart, now he says he's not doing the Oscars, but he has taken the time to apologize to the LGBT community once again. So I think it's time to get off that man's back and leave him the hell alone. Because if Kevin Hart is guilty because he said, I mean, he said homophobic things in his act and in his tweets and all that. So are pretty much all comedians. They all make, they, <laughs> I gotta watch what I say. They all made F-word jokes. They all make it. They made them. Uh, just since, I mean, it's only been in the last, I guess gay, gay marriage kind of brought this stuff to the front and where we started getting a little more respect in the media. But prior to that time, I mean, that that was like the standard. He always made uh, some kind of gay jokes in their routines. They'll say, oh, not me. I never did. You can find, if you keep digging, you'll find where you've made fun of some gay person. Look at Living Color. Now, I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure if Living Color was put on trial now, they would be crucified for some of their old skits. Trans people will come after Wanda. And what's those two little ones with the Wayne and brother with the little hats on its head that would be considered homophobic? It's always been around. I'm, I'm grateful that I'm able to live long enough to see that it's, maybe it's not so prominent anymore, then it's not okay. People have become uh, uh, more sensitive to, to, to that particular subject. But people, we have to learn how to let go. You have to let go. We can't go digging into people's past. I'm sure if you right now, I don't think I have made 600 videos. You go through there, you can find something that is inappropriate. And if you go through your lives, you will find many things that you've said which are inappropriate. It hurt somebody. We have to move forward. This man... He's taking the time to apologize. He says, it's not, I'm not apologizing to get the Oscars. To, I mean, to host the Oscars. I'm not going to do it. But I'm going to apologize anyway. I'm sincere. But I want to let it go. And I think you should let it go. We all should let it go. Anybody want to go back and research Richard Pryor's routines? Any of the greats? Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy used to do all that stuff. I mean, it's really. I was really offended then. But uh, I'm not going to go back there and crucify that man for something he did back when it was popular to do it. We have to let go and move on. You want these people to respect you? Respect them as well. No sense in, I'm sure that he probably has his own motivations, but never question a man's motives. He's doing the right thing. He's done the right thing. He's apologized. He said, I'm sincere. I'm doing it. I'm not trying to get on the Oscars. Now, more than likely, he will probably host the Oscars in the next one or two years. But at least he had kind of put this thing to rest. And I'm sure agents... Professionals say, well, you're still making movies and things. We don't want to have a problem with your movies and all that. So it's best to apologize. So he did it. So when a person does what you want, why are you going back and picking it apart the way he did? I don't like the way he did it. Oh, you didn't smile when you said it. Oh, you said you want to put it down, but you don't want to discuss it. You don't want to be a spokesman for gay causes now. You don't want to be, you don't want to be a champion for gay causes. No. You demanded apology, and I resisted because I felt like I'd already done that, and now I apologized again. And now I think we all should let that go. It's not right. Fortunately, the world's changing. People are not saying the same things they used to say. You know, at some point, they're going to start uh, dredging up these pastors and all the things they've said. And that's really where it has been the most hurtful things ever said was said by pastors in these churches. Right? Rick Warren, various controversies. If they start putting up those people videos, honey, it's hell to pay. Nobody's done it right. Be quiet. Look at my baby. Say hello. Hi, baby. <laughs> Hi, people. What you doing, daddy? Put me down. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so good for you, Kevin Hart. Best of luck to you. People let bullshit go. I mean, let bullshit go. They're comedians. Anybody ever count how many times Richard Pryor said the N-word in his routines? We'll be in the thousands. Somebody's offended. That's what they did. Or they do or what they did. So 
Judge people for what they do now. How are they now? Can't judge their heart because you don't know what's in there. You go by what, what, what is public. They said, I'm sorry, done deal. Okay, if nobody else in the world accepts your apology, Kevin Hart, I certainly do and appreciate it. Taking your time to do that. And I will continue. Do I watch any Kevin Hart movies? I don't know. I know I'm aware of you, so nothing's changed. All right, people. Happy, what's today? Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> Later.